Hello there, good morning everybody. Um, <laughs> I have a dog at my feet, so if, if you hear um, the pitter-patter of little paws, then then it's Bob's here. Hello, good morning to you. Who have we got? Uh, Mandy and Mary and Kristen and Shelley and Shirley and Brian. Hello. Um, hello to Jane and Kaz and Sazel and Geraldine. Uh, Sunny and Gloria, she says. Um, Pamela and Janet and Amanda and Leslie, Francesca and Debbie and loads of you. And on Facebook we have um jackie hello and brenda and sue and pam um alana morning jackie janet um to gwen and brenda sorry if i miss anybody there's so many of you coming up so this is um last saturday of the month so it is half yard sewing club so along and we're going to be making a pin cushion so i'm not going to get me coffee later on so i've brought one down here with me uh, so this is it so it's got a little pocket on the front that you can keep pens or glue pens and scissors and things like that. And then this is a band that goes over the top that you can put your clips on as well. So it's quite handy and nice if you're going to um, workshops or anywhere like that and you just want something that's portable that you can take with you. So that's what we're going to be doing in a bit. And it's a great way of using up scraps of fabric as well. Hello, Samantha in Queensland in Australia. Sunny and bright and says Alice. Julie's in Scotland. Hello, Hazel. Good day, Brenda in Kentucky. Um, so, who have we got that's Half Yard Club members already? Anybody thinking about joining? Want any more information? Um, any more inspiration? Any more encouragement? Come and let us know. Or maybe you've joined this morning or over the last few days. So if you're new to the club and you're new to our lives here on a Saturday morning, then, uh, then come and let us know. Come and say hello. It'd be nice to hear from you. Hello, Margaret. Hi, Laura. Hi, Gillian, Mary. Um, in Renfrew, thank you very much, Francesca. Hi, Megan. Um, who else have we got? And Linda, hello, Sarah. I recognise a lot of your names as being club members already. Um, who else is in Australia? Sorry, messages scroll in front of me and they're coming through thick and fast. Um, Christine in Australia, very good, thank you very much. What time is it over there? Is it cold? It's your winter, isn't it? Megan's going to sew along. Anybody else sewing along? If you've had a look on either of the Facebook pages, Half Yard Club or My Debbie Shaw um, Facebook page, you'll have seen the ingredients that you need. And if you're a subscriber to my YouTube channel, I did send out a message last week. Darren's ready for the sew along. Hello, Margaret and um, Janet. It's just I'm, I'm missing lots of these. I'm sorry about that. Um, Julie Jones, Half Yard Club member, says the best thing to be. Um, Nice and bright in Warrington. Lisa's in Ilfracombe in a caravan. So lots of you sewing along. My Megan's just perked up when you said hello, Megan. Oh, Megan, Megan. Um, Bobbin's climbed onto a chair and he said, you may well hear snoring shortly. Thank you, Gina. Morning, Wendy. Um, Thank you. I, Sarah, thank you. I, I, I like to think it's value for money. If you are new, as it is last Saturday in the month, before we start with the sew along, I'm going to show you some of the projects that are available on the website and give you a quick tour around the website. Okay. Um, the value I think is amazing because for your £5.99 a month, and that will translate as whatever currency in whatever country you are, um, you will receive a main project with a video, um, downloadable instructions, and a printable pattern if if you need one. Then halfway through the month and around about the 15th, you'll have a secondary project that doesn't have a video, but it will have the downloadable pattern and instructions. Then you'll also receive a block of the month and on the website, there are hints and tips and videos and information and discounts and offers and lots of stuff going on. So I'll show you, in fact, let me show you now. Baby not cooperating. Oh, 8 p.m. in Australia. Well, that's, that's, that's reasonable, isn't it? Okay. So this is the club. Um, I'm not signed in at the moment. So if you're brand new, this is what you're going to be looking at when you first um, go to the website. So this month's project is a skirt. There's no pattern for this. You make it to fit yourself and it's got inseam pockets as well. I wear that all the time. I love that one. Um, your second project is the tool belt, um, which can be left or right handed. <clears throat> excuse me, for sewing, for gardening, uh, for housework. Um, we do bring back projects. Now, all of the projects stay on the website for two years. So if you join up today, you will have 48 projects plus your block of the month. After two years, the projects start to come down, apart from the block of the month. So uh, then occasionally we bring them back again, just 
just because we're like that. So the reversible sun hat is one that's been brought back. So that's quite an old project, but it's, it's come back for you for the summertime. Um, we've got Walter and Wendy were to the dolls to go inside the the doll's house which is one of the projects as well so this is without being signed in you can see all of the projects that we have once you do sign in so then you get your um oh there we go i was hoping it remembered my password because i don't remember um then you'll have all of your instructions in there as well so when you click on them it'll, it'll take you to the video or the instructions or the pattern or whatever else you need um we like to keep the projects really varied. So from a doll's house to a bow tie, um, a quilting, smocking, uh, toy making, things for the home, bags, hats, um, lots of Christmas items. We've got a sewing machine bag. So do have a scroll down to the bottom of the page because um, I know a lot of you like the, you know, whatever's new, but if you're stuck for some ideas or you just want a little project or a big project for that matter, do have a scroll right down to the bottom of the page because you're going to find so many different items. A pencil skirt that you measure yourself for, door stops. Um, we have quilted table runners, matching bowl, um, sewing machine dust cover, a, an, a craft apron, a reversible jacket, a cat bed. So you can see it's not just one genre. We're not just dressmaking. We're not just quilting. We're not just bag making. We're not just homewares. We're, we're a little bit of everything. Now this month, um, next month, which is only next week, isn't it? Let me just bring this up so I can show you because they're a bit big to show you here. It's curtains. And these are tie top curtains, so there's no header tape to fit or anything like that. They're really simple. Oh, I, need to, I haven't done the instructions for that cushion yet. Um, and you'll have a matching cushion as well. You might not get that quite for next week. Um, but, but that's a bonus. I just thought it would be nice to use some of the spare fabric to make a cushion with. So, um, so I did that, but I forgot to do the instructions. But that's an extra. That's a little bonus for you. Um, so that was that. While, while we're there as well, just go back to the top, that would be easier. Um, we have an Ask a Member page. So this is the forum. So this is where you can ask a question and either myself or Joan or Megan or, or Bob or Laura or one of the team will ask, uh, will answer your questions. So that's a nice way to keep in touch with everybody else. And if you do have any problems with, with anything, then um, nothing's a stupid question. Um, where do we find the discount code? Um, well, you do get a 10% discount off my website as well. Uh, tips and techniques is a category that is growing. So what is a twile has just gone on. Um, some of these are video and some of them are just um, kind of instructions, but you know, how to, what is fussy cutting? How do I make a, a collar and a stand from a pattern? That could be a blouse or a man shirt. So that's kind of growing as well. Now you can join for a month for free. So when you go to um, the checkout, because you will need to fill in all of your details when you register, even if you're going to have the free month, you'll put the word welcome in capital letters and you'll have an all, um, a whole month for free. So you can have, is it Marion's birthday? Happy birthday, Marion. Um, Alice is making the sewing machine bag at the moment, she says. That's this big bag here. Um, tips and techniques. Thank you, Laura. Yeah, so it's absolutely jam packed full and it's growing all the time as well. I just want to show you some of the projects while we're here as well. So this is this month's project. This is my skirt, has been washed. Um, elasticated waist, really comfy, easy to wear, inseam pockets, love a pocket in a skirt. Um, so that's this month. So there's no pattern for that. You will make it to fit yourself no matter what size you are and how long you want it to be. So that's that one. This is one of the projects that's come back actually. It's one of my favourite ones. Um, I've got one with my Birds and Bobbins fabric that I use all the time. And it's a backpack, but it's a really nice big size. So that's ideal for, for work, for carrying files in or for a baby bag. The secondary project I showed you briefly for this month is the tool belt. Wear it on the left, wear it on the right, make two and wear one each side. But I thought that, to me, that's a big pocket. There aren't enough pockets in garments when I'm working, so I've just got a big pocket I can, I can wear when I want to. These two, for the sewing room. So this is to, oh, hi, Lisa, um, to keep your scissors in. And this one is a little tool roll. 
to keep smaller scissors in maybe we've got pockets we've got zip pockets and somewhere for needles as well so th those two actually were one of the projects um, this one was handy again for storage we like storage don't we so you can keep pens and pencils in here pockets on this side and that folds over with a mesh pocket here and a zip pocket on this side as well and then we have whoops how about a laptop bag this comes in two sizes so i'm trying to cover all of the sizes of your laptops and you've got a zip pocket on the front and a zipped gusset around the outside as well and then just really quickly before we get sewing i want to show you a couple of the oh where's my christmas one the blocks of the month because these don't come down so even though all of the projects come down after two years you're actually going to get four of these well the fourth one's not finished yet but this is last year's which is seminal patchwork so that's a huge bed runner these have all been designed by my friend melissa who is an amazing quilt designer so each one of those sections is a block but because this is last year's you can just down the whole lot all in one go if you wish and then previous to that we had this one so again, because this is all finished, you can download everything all in one go. Have I got that the right way around? Nope. So this is, oh gosh, foundation paper piecing, English paper piecing, um, needle turn applique, lots and lots of different um, types of patchwork in this one. So again, you'll get, get all of the, you get this for £5.99. And we haven't put our prices up when everything's going up. And you don't have to worry about postage because we don't post anything out because it's all online. I don't know where my Christmas one is. I thought I got that out to show you. So, so basically, oh, and have, have a look at this. This is one of my favourites, actually. Um, an exploding box to keep your sewing bits and bobs in. And it's really easy to make. Not so much sewing in this one, to be honest, but it's a really fun make. If you're thinking about getting early with your Christmas presents, then that, I think, would make a really super little Christmas gift for somebody who sews. Cute, no. So, that's an idea of the kind of... I mean, that's, that's just uh, everything you see here of projects as well. So that's just a small selection of the 48 projects that you'll have the first day you join. So if you go to... Um, halfyardsewingclub.com you'll be able to see as I showed you before you log in the kind of uh, well you have an overview of, of, of what it's all about you'll be able to see all of the projects there and don't forget to use that word welcome in capital letters when you go to checkout and, uh, and get your free month if it's not for you um, then you can just cancel again don't worry about it no Gina it hadn't got me quick on picking it I don't know what I've done with that now I'm probably going to need it later um Carol says that's good. I love downloads. There's no postage. Well, it just means that we can make this affordable and worldwide. Um, thing, the thing is, like, um, postage to some countries, like from the UK to Canada, is a ridiculous amount. We, we don't even send from the website um, b because it's, you know, for a small piece of fabric, £30 in postage is just ridiculous. But you can still join the club for £5.99 or what that, whatever that is in Canadian dollars because we don't post anything out. If you had to post things, then gosh, it'd be more than £5.99 a month. Um, not fabrics to show in this one, Deirdre, because we're concentrating on Half Yard Club. However, I'm going to pop up later. We've got hundreds of new fabrics on the website. Um, so I'm going to show you, as is to Australia, it is Carol, it's about £28 to Australia. It's in, in, incredibly expensive. But we do have a lot of Australian ladies and gentlemen in the club. Pamela's recently joined and loved it. Thank you. Has anyone done all of the projects? So I haven't just done all of them, Bridget. I've done most of them twice because there's the one for the video and there's the one for photography. I've got so much samples, so many samples. Um, thank you, Mary. I don't know how that works, algorithms and the like, but thank you. Um, Mary's unpicking last week's project because he made a mess of it. The thing is, you only make a mess of something once, don't you? And it's, I, I said this to Kimberly when she first started learning sewing. Um, it, it's actually a, a good thing. And you'll find that the second time you make something, you're so much more pleased with it than the first time you make it. But if you make that mistake once, apart from me sewing sleeves in the wrong way around twice, I told you last week. Um, oh, Rain has just joined the club. Needs more time to say. If one of if one of the projects, Rain, there could be an extra day in the week. Can you imagine? This month we're going to give you an extra day. We're going to call it So Day. 
I did a ditty about that, didn't I? I might try and find that for later. Um, for some reason the sound's not working on YouTube, sound's going out from here okay. And uh, if anybody else can't hear me on YouTube, then let me know, but um, I can't do anything about that, I'm afraid. Um, quick question, would you be able to do something in French seams? Have we got anything on the club? There's so much on here, I can't remember. So just bear with me a sec on S-E-A-M-S. There we go. We haven't. Oh, mind you, I spelt it wrong. We should do something on there for French seams. I'm not sure when it'll be because we're pretty much um, scheduled up for the rest of the year, to be honest. Um, Oh, Carolyn's joining the club today. Welcome along. Sounds good on YouTube. Sounds good on YouTube, says Brian. Thank you. I'm picking my first attempt at sewing with stretch fabric. Do you have a tutorial about sewing with stretch fabric, especially hems? There is one on, on the Half Yard Club website all about sewing with stretch fabric. Um, right, not buying fabric at the moment as moving house and haven't got a sewing room. Oh, no. Have you got a loft? <laughs> There's a top on, oh, thanks, Julie. There's a top on the club that has French seams. Um, if you're not a member of the club, have a look on my YouTube channel and there is a drawstring beach bag that has French seams. Yes, you can, Kate. If you pay monthly, you can change and pay for a year. If you go into your account, there is an option that I can't show you on here because I'm on admin, so I, I, it, it won't let me show you. Um, but if you go into your account, you will have an option to change from yearly to monthly or monthly to yearly to cancel your subscription or whatever you want to do. So you can control um, your own um, account from there. If you have any problems whatsoever, then do email the team, which is info at halfyardsewingclub.com. And um, the team being... Um, uh, myself and Kim that work from here and then we have um, Caroline who's who's the boss and Emily who is the editor then we have Claire and Sophie who are um, social media marketing uh, we have Emma who uh, drafts patterns and we have um, Betsy who's a proofreader and I'm going to name Melissa as part of our team as well because she does so much work for us with the block of the month so we're quite a big bunch um, but I don't do I don't deal directly with customer service. That is part of the team at Search Press down in Tunbridge Wells. So, but if you email them with any technical problems or any questions that you have, then um, then somebody will get back to you. And quite often over the weekend as well, they work very hard. My skirt, my skirt that I'm wearing, Monday, or the skirt that I showed you. The skirt that I showed you is a viscose. People are asking where the mouse is. <laughs> it's having a nap, Lisa. It's, it's actually at the side down here. I haven't got Gary today um, to dress me set. Oh, Jennifer's planning to join on June the 1st. Curtain day, June the 1st, Jennifer. Um, yeah, Gary's off um, photographing a wedding today, so he won't be back till late, so I don't get a coffee. I know, could have waited. Um, oh, it's Catherine's birthday as well. Happy birthday, Catherine. All right, shall we do a little bit of sewing? So if you oh God, itch, itch, itch. if you do have any um, it's dust in here, um, any questions about the club now, then do ask them. If I don't see a question, write in capitals and shout at me. Um, I, it has been found. <laughs> um, hello, Carol from St Vincent in the Grenadines in the Caribbean. You never have winter there, do you? Um, morning, Sandra. Hi, Jan. Yeah, if you do have any questions, then just just let me know. Okay, right. Half a meter of two fabrics make the pink shirt dress. If it's if it's that size, then yes, plenty. But I reckon, as I'm looking at it here, this isn't a half yard club project. This was something on YouTube that I did. Oop, I reckon that would fit maybe a three year old, and two half meters would be fine. You'd probably make a bigger one than that if you needed to as well. Oops. Oh, 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 oh. Had to iron my dress for 50th birthday. Oh, lots of birthdays today. Uh, when are you making the new weekend bag? That's going to be July's project, Rita. Um, Janet, sorry, that I, yeah, I'm not surprised you forgot what we're making because I did waffle a little bit there. This is the um, 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 a little pin cushion. Look, 
and it's got a pocket on one side and sorry I just need to do that um, yes so it's got a pocket on the one side and it's got a little strap over here as well so you can put clips on there it's just a really really simple project and this is what we like to do with the sew alongs and in fact any of the Saturday mornings I like to do just a simple project so you don't need any patterns there's hardly any instructions and we can make it within an hour so let's go going I could have had a flask Sarah couldn't I we don't actually own a flask but that would have been a good I could have put some thought into that and bought me one couldn't I? okay if you have a look on um the Half Yards Uncle Facebook page, you will see all of the um, cutting instructions. It's, it's not set in stone and there's not very many, to be honest. Um, I'll put them in the description box on YouTube later on. But this is basically what we've got. So we've got two pieces of fabric that measure six inches by four. So that's going to make the front and the back. I have a few scraps of fabric to do the uh, the patchwork bit across the front because I thought it was a little bit of fun. Don't have to do that bit if you don't want to, but it's um, it's quite nice to do that. And this is going to be, this is the six by four piece. So that's five, six by five. Six by four that goes over the back of the pocket. It's a little bit wide, but we need to cut that down to size. And then this one is um, seven inches by three, and that's going to make the strap that goes across the front. So the first thing we're going to do is this little bit of patchwork. So if you take the, the back of the pocket piece, and I'm just going to iron that because it's folded over. And I don't like working with creased up fabric, you don't know about you. So underneath all of this slot is my ironing mat. Um, put a seam ripper in a pocket. Yes, I just, oh, if I plugged it in, that would work, wouldn't it? Um, I need to get some more seam rippers. I normally have them dotted around all over the place because I know how, how much I, I lose them. Because I never use them, of course. But I've, I've normally have them all over. But I do lose those and scissors. I don't know why. Um, oh, Zell's got a pink parcel. It's Lucy's birthday as well. Happy 12th birthday, Lucy. Uh, Michelle's ready to scrap bag and cut out all the pieces ready to sew. She's going to watch first and sew later. Um, so I'm, I'm not very creased up. I just don't like don't like creasy fabric. That will do, right? So basically, the back of the pocket piece is kind of the size that we want these to be when we sew them together. So all I'm going to do, they're around about an inch. It doesn't have to be exact. Um, is to sew them right sides together in strips but at a little bit of an angle so you get this kind of zigzag effect so let's bring this over here doesn't really matter about seam allowance doesn't matter if your seam goes a little bit wobbly have i ever made a tailor's ham yes i have Anne. um in my book so sewing room accessories um, and I made it um, not exactly the same shape as a traditional tailor's ham. I made it with a square bottom. So it's a, if, oh, no, I haven't got it. I haven't got it up here. I made it so that it was round at the top, square at the bottom, so a proper square base with a pocket on the front. So I'm smiling at my dog. Um, because I found that with a tailor's ham, if I put it inside something like a bag, there's a chance that you can burn your hands when you're, when you're ironing it. So I put a pocket on the front so it keeps your hand away from the heat. And the reason the base of it is square is because I make a lot of bags and I can push it straight into the base of a bag and sew over the corners. So that's the tailor's ham that I made. And I did make a, you know, the, um, what are they called? The sleeve ones, the long thin ones. There was one of those as well, still with the pocket on the front of it to put your hand in. So that was sewing room accessories. I said, yes, I did. Um, right. I th they could have changed the time of the wedding, Sylvia. I think it's very selfish of them, getting married while I'm doing a live stream. Um, I'm just going to go along putting these at different angles until I've used up all of the fabric or until I get to the size that I want to with the pockets. So again, don't worry about perfection with this one. 
and these will be too long I think I've put them even longer than I said on the um, in the instructions so every now and again you can just press those open um, like so well, I say press it open I mean press all the seams to one side is, oh, come here is what I mean so again and they're, they're just a at angles to each other. So let's do a few more. So I'll go back to that one again, flip it over that way, whoops, right sides together, do another one. And so. Might help if I put the right camera on to show you what I'm doing. Fold that back. Oh, missed that one a lot. I was. <laughs> oh no, I haven't run off. Run out of bobbin thread. I thought it was a bit odd that I actually missed it. Um, I've got so much thread in little baskets and things all over the place here. That one all day. So chat amongst yourselves a sec. Go and go and join the half yard club while I just do this. <laughs> um. Jill's late today, been gardening. Uh, do you know, I, I was thinking about doing a bit of gardening this morning, but uh, got, got a few things to do. Um, but it's not actually that warm outside. It looks it, but it was, it was rather chilly, I thought, this morning. Just put a bit of thread on here. I think Catherine's birthday as well. So many birthdays today. The Matunda Machine, that's uh, one of the projects from Half Yard Club as well which actually matches the curtain, the curtain, the cushion behind me. So thank you, I'm glad you like it. That is a um, crumb quilted, self quilted hexagon. Self bound quilted hexagon, cushion cover and placemat. I'm sure it wasn't spelt that long on the website. Let's open that up. Let's try another one and then I'll iron it again. Um, Fiona's a member, normally watch and catch up, but today I've managed to catch live. Hello, Fiona. Uh, question, when do you refer, when you refer to your posted fabric requirements for Saturday projects, whereabouts are they posted? Um, it's only the sew along for the half yard club, like this one that you're watching now, where I post the fabric requirements because so then you can sew along for it. Um, normally if I'm, I don't, if, if I'm making something in one of my lives on another Saturday, um, I try to do a video for YouTube without the chat, and that's where you'll find any of the um, fabric requirements. Um, last week on Wednesday, I did an invisible zip in a cushion cover. I filmed that cushion cover again this morning, so that should be going on when I've edited it later on this afternoon. So that, that's what I try to do. Right, let me see if I'm... If I've got enough to cover that, not quite. I might have to cut another strip actually. Let me show you. So that's where I am at the moment. And I'm going to put, I think I might have sewn these a bit too close together. Um, so let's put another one on here. How are we keeping up, chums? Tell me if you want me to speed up, slow down, shut up, do something else. Let me know. Um, 45 years wedding anniversary, Lynn. Congratulations, my 25th this year. I'm just going to cut another piece of fabric because I've, I've not got quite enough to cover that. I think I said got my got my seams a little bit too um, too wide on that one. This is the nice thing about projects like this, isn't it? Because look, just little bits of fabric that you have left over. I do need, need another one now that you don't really know what to do with because they're too small to make anything. You can just join them all together. Let's move that out of the way, it's looking a bit messy. So let's put this one on here. Like so. Whoops. And again, just keep going until you've got enough to cover that pocket. 
I think another couple should be in a, another one on there. I like this look, we do this quite a lot. The, um, the sewing machine dust cover, which is one of the half yard projects behind me, the purple coloured one, is, um, is this technique. Actually, you could um, put that on there. You could make one to match, couldn't you? If you've already made the oh that that kind of thing, you could make um, a pin cushion to match. Can you see that behind me there? The purpley thing. Um, the doll is a secondary project for June. No, secondary project for June is going to be um, Hawaiian appliqued monster leaf cushion cover. I've made it yet. Um, the, these dolls, they are projects and they should have been taken down after two years, but they haven't come down. So that's Maddie and Robin. Those are still on the website. Again, scroll all the way down to the bottom. You've got 48 or more projects to look at there. And Maddie and Robin are still there. The little dolls were a secondary project after the doll's house. Um, I can't remember that what month that was earlier on this year. So yes, do dolls are all projects still on there. Hello, Connie in Kentucky. What is the brand of my small iron? It's adorable. It's a prim mini iron. So I, I think there are, there's a few different little bits like this on the market, but I, this is one that I use as, as my prim. So you should get that over there. I think you have prim. Right, I think that's enough. Yes. Okay, so then we're going to cut the patchwork bit down to the same size as the pocket bit. Um, so I just couldn't see my scissors. So let's cut this off. And these little bits that you're cutting off, if, if yours are longer like mine are, are perfect for crumb quilting. So don't even throw those away. Right, again, this isn't going to be exact. It'll still be a little bit too wide. So what we're going to do here is to sew them right sides together, just across the top. Yeah, second project for me is the tool belt, so that's already out. Um, June the 1st will be curtains, tie top curtains, and then June the 15th will be your Hawaiian applique. Hello, Margaret in Belfast. Hello. Somebody else's birthday. Oh, Mary's birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday for tomorrow. Um, so we have this. And then I'm just going to fold the top back and I'm going to top stitch. So that's going to be the top of my pocket. Okay, so that's the, the pocket piece done. So the next thing is to make up the strap that goes across the front to hold your clips on. Um, mm, back to the iron again. So many birthdays. What, what happened nine months ago? It wasn't Christmas, was it? September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. When the kids go back to school. Mm, mm, or September. Mm. Know what your lot got up to? Right. So take your three by six strip and we're going to fold this like a piece of binding. Um, so in half to crease and then center to of oh, the edge to the center and crease center edge to the center and crease and that one there Okay. Hope you all got your iron switched on when we started this. Maybe I'll slow down a bit. <laughs> um, and then I'm just going to sew across the top and the bottom of this, and that's going to be again the strap that puts the um, that you can clip your clip on. There we go. Right. So you can lengthen the stitch a little bit if you wanted to, because the top stitching. We're quite um, interactive on our little website as well. I say little, it's huge. Um, if you do have not just any questions, but any suggestions, 
then do let us know. We can't we can't always fulfil everybody's um, requests. We we do get some rather odd things, to be honest, um, or things that you know are specific to a project that only you would want. Um, but you know, do let us know if there's anything that or any trends that you've seen, or you think I'd love to know how to do that. Um, come and let us know. Haven't put anyone on the naughty step for ages. I, I gelled, actually, yes, my God. If you've been doing housework this morning, I, are you going to admit to it? Hmm? So I can't use Boris anymore. My uncle Boris, who used to say that it was against the law to um, to do housework on a Saturday morning before one o'clock. Um, I made it, Eleanor. Is Eleanor? Hello. Um, so yeah, but it's. Um, it's it, 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 sh it shouldn't happen on a Saturday morning, is all I'm saying. If you want to do housework on a Sunday morning, that's fine. But anything that would be deemed as a chore on a Saturday morning, it, it's just not allowed, I'm afraid. And um, it, you would have to go in the naughty step. I will make exceptions. So if you're pre-washing fabric, that's fine. If you're doing your laundry, mm. um, If you're tidying your sewing room, that's fine. If you're tidying the living room, mm -mm, can't do that. So just to let you know. What is housework, says Francesca. From what I remember, it's, it's something where you, you um, is it pick up all the bits and the dust and everything off the floor and put it in the bin. I think, I think I'm, I think I'm right. Good morning, Annette. Oh, Lisa, Lisa has a cleaner. She's ever so posh, Lisa. Can you make a square storage box which has four square divisions inside? Linda, that's a good idea. Haven't made a, a well, I've made a dog bed for my dog, Rosemary. There is a cat bed project that you can make bigger on the Half Yard Club. Um, you can tidy your sewing room, Janice, and I think it's quite important that you re that. I, I can't start sewing in mess. By the time I've finished my day, it's stuff everywhere. Um, and I don't tidy it there and then because I can't be bothered. Um, but when I go back into my sewing room in the next morning, I, I have to have it. I can't sew in mess. Um, I'm not a, I'm not a messy crafter at all, but um, yeah, I have to have it nice and tidy. So a, a cleaning your sewing room, tidying your sewing room should always be clean anyway. Anyway, um, aren't those bits extra insulation? Spare fabrics, absolutely um, insulation. That that's always been my uh, my pitch. We're soundproofed, we're, and that's actually really important if the fuel prices are going up to insulate your home. Buy more fabric. Makes sense to me. Flew around doing housework, so I'd be ready to sit down and go, oh, Anne, oh, flying around all night housework on a Saturday morning. Feel a naughty step coming on. Anyway. So there's my strap. So let's arrange this. So my pin cushion is going to go kind of that way. So it's like that. Pocket goes over the top again. It's still a little bit big. That's fine. And then strap goes over the top of there. So just make sure everything's nice and square. I like oh, Christine, that makes sense to me, to be honest. Um, so I'm having my pocket just over two inches from the top. That's square. And my strap's going to go about an inch from there. So let's pin this in place through all of the layers. And there's no reason why you couldn't quilt that as well. That might look quite nice. Um, and fabric-wise, black and white, or red and yellow, or whatever kind of colours that you want to. Um, or just a complete mismatch of scraps. Um, did I miss the big talk about the future? What future, Helene? The future. I don't know. Don't know. Right, I'm just going to sew down the side bits, quite close to the edge, just to hold all of those together, then we'll trim that back. And on this side. Oh, and a little bit across the bottom, we don't need to go all the way across. So just close to the edge to hold all of that together. And then... I'm just going to trim off the edges here. Um, I do have an update on Create and Craft, and I'm going to be joining them in July. Not every week. Um, sorry, it didn't look straight, but it is. Um, so maybe, maybe once a month to start off with, I'm going to have a whole range of 
kits and projects and panels for you. We are, this is me and Kim. Kim's not going on air, but we are, we're working on this together. Um, we will be having some dressmaking patterns, which we are talking to some people about on, on Wednesday. That might take a while because it takes ages to do that. Um, but yes, so I'm going to be um, I'm going to be working with Crane Craft again. So the cat's out the bag now, isn't it? But I haven't got an exact date. I think it might be around about the 15th of July, but I haven't I haven't got a date yet. A dressing gown will be good. That's a good. Oh, imagine any patterns. That's the only thing, Rosemary. It's difficult to. Oh, Lisa, nowhere near. <laughs> In fact, not at all. Not at all, actually. Well, there you go. Um, Simple labels that they are in space. I've, I've got your, I've got your messages kind of breaking up a little bit. Um, a small organizer for sewing machine needles. Oh, with simple labels that they, that's a good idea. Um, yeah, a, dre a dressing gown would be a good idea, but again, need a need a pattern for that one. Um, thanks, Shelley. Dress pattern. Yes, crate and graph. No, it's um. um uh, uh, it's not terrestrial. It's a it's a Sky Channel. So Michelle, you would have to watch on their website. So you can watch online on Crate and Craft. Oh, I don't know what the website is. It's been donkey's years since I worked there. Web, uh, just Google Crate and Craft, and it'll come up. Um, I don't know Gina. I, I think it's going to take a few months to actually get them get them produced. Um, no, I'm not doing Sewing Street as well, Helene. Um, they were lovely actually. I was talking to. Um, to them yesterday, um, yeah, and that they were they were just very understanding, very lovely, and arms are open for any time they'd want to go back. Um, th the thing with Sewing Street for me is the location; it's two and a half hours drive. So I've, uh, out of my day, five hours of that is spent in the car driving, and by the time you've done a couple of hours live there and arrived two hours before the show, it's just it's just too much for me, I'm afraid. Crane Crafts just down the road from where I live here. Uh, housework is defined as a male survival technique to protect him from female predators. <laughs> um, a kimono type dressing gown. You, you should use the kimono pattern, Jean, from, um, or the, the kimono design from Half Yard Club, I suppose. Um, my sound is going out from here fine, so I'm only blaming YouTube for anything that's happening there, I'm afraid, um, because all of my levels are going out. Perfectly. Thank you, Lisa. Okay, let's finish finish off this. So we're going to put these two pieces right sides together, and we're going to sew all the way around the edge, but leave a turning gap in the bottom so that I can turn it the right side out. Question, please, Debbie from Sarah. Hold the line a moment. I just started to make your child's drawstring bag and have used G700. Do I iron it onto the iron on the right side of the fabric or the non-fusible side? Use the f uh, iron it onto the wrong side of your fabric with the uh, the knobbly bit with the glue bit facing so that the the G700 is glued to the back of your fabric. Love G700. Uh, this is my favourite interfacing of the moment. I use it lots. Um, Sarah asked this. Oh, did I say Anne? Sorry, Anne. Um, just started to make Charles drawstring bag. Oh, Anne asked. Oh, sorry, Anne asked about that. Yeah, iron it onto the wrong side of your fabric, glue side. So you iron from the fabric side. So your right, your, your fabric's right side up, and the glue side of the G seven hundred is right side up, so that the glue is glued to the back of the fabric. Did that make sense at all? Now I'm using a quarter of an inch seam allowance, six millimetres, and literally just going all the way around the edge, but leaving that turning gap in one side. And then we'll need some toy filler. And oh, t oh why did I hear that? Um, a tip for you for pin cushions. I don't know whether I read it or whether it was one of you lot, but it stuck in my mind. Um, you know when you buy something, I don't know, a bag or something, you get those little pouches that absorb um, moisture. I think you even get them in dog treat bags and things like that. Um, stick them inside a pink cushion, I heard or read, um, so that um, help to prolong the life of your pins. 
thought that was a good idea and something else that you don't have to throw away. Uh, G700, um, I don't know, Carol, I've, I've not used an alternative, but it's a Valiseline product. Does anybody else know the, of an alternative for G700? Um, I'm just snipping off the corners so that the points get a little bit more pointy. So we have this, and then let's turn it the right side out. Toning gap's a little bit small. Crushed walnut shells in pin cushions, that's a good idea. You get it as reptile cage bedding. Really? Reptile cage bedding at the pet shop. Um, so again, just a silicon sachet, that's it, thank you. Um, Zell also put a, a, a non soaked Brillo pad in your pin cushion. Heard of that one, yeah. Not tried it, but I've heard of that one. Pelon. Pelon what though, Cabs? I know Pelon's the brand, but like Valiseline, but a Pelon, the equivalent of G700, don't know. So come on out. Did leave a rather small turning out. Is anybody keeping up? i right, push you out. The best alternative for Decaville are light. I don't have a, a problem with Decaville. Like Decaville, the, the regular Decaville tends to be quite heavy and difficult to sew through. I've not had a problem with Decaville light. I don't know of an alternative, I'm afraid. I've only used um, Decaville. Push out these corners. And up here. SF101 is the same as G700, says Shelley, she thinks. Thank you. Oh, Debbie's keeping up. Lovely. Just need something to poke my corners out. I've lost my my um, my turner as well. I never move anything from in here. I don't know how things get lost. I'll use a pen. Pelon Shape Flex FSF one hundred and one. Thank you, Rita. I've not used that. Um, let's push those corners out. You may find that happens. So all you're going to do is that and flip it over. So give it an iron if you need to. Where do these come from? Why am I slipping threads when they weren't there when I was sewing it? Weird, isn't it? You pop there. Right. And then we'll stuff it. So, there we go. Got rather a lot of toy filler here. <laughs> right. So has anybody joined the Half Yard Club today? Um, and if you are new, or even if you're not, what's your next project? What have been your favourite projects? What was the first thing that you made? Or have you tried something that's a little bit different? Are you the dressmaker that's tried quilting for the first time? Or the quilter that's never fit fitted a zip before? Is that, is that something that maybe you've learned from the club? Um, this is what comes with tidying away. I know, oh, that's true. <laughs> I like to think I'm so organised, but... Um, I'm one of these people that files things and then can't remember where you've filed them. You, do you do that? You put it somewhere safe, as I me mean, when we said somewhere safe. I don't know where, but it's somewhere safe. Thanks, Lisa. I think you have a Mr. Nobody in your sewing room. <laughs> oh, we should make me a coffee. Um, oh, Trisha joined on Wednesday. Welcome along, Trisha. Have you made anything yet? Or is there a, um, a particular project that you've seen that you thought, right, I'm going to join because I want to make that? Okay, I think that the value is, is really incredible. I was saying when um, we launched the, um, the skirt, um, I know you make it to fit yourself. And it's, it's, it's very simple. It's easy to do that, to measure it, to make sure you get the right fit. But if you were to buy a, a, a dress pattern or a skirt pattern, you, you're going to be paying eight, nine, ten, twelve pounds, depending on where you get it from. So you get that for five pounds ninety nine plus forty seven of the projects. It keep you busy, won't it? What if anybody's actually made everything? I mean, if you're there from the beginning, um, and you kept it with making two projects a month, I suppose there's a lot of that you could have done that. Um, Janice is primarily a dressmaker but has started the Christmas quilt from the club. How are you enjoying it? 
um, you have a pocket to put your turner and, and an unpicker. That's true, Sarah. Must, must keep myself organised. Leslie puts lots of things in um, in safe places and never found them again. Probably like my car keys. That's what I say. Um, oh, Chris has completed the batwing top. Congratulations. Christian's making four side 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 shapes. Oh, Jane's doing the block of the month as, as her first quilting experience as well. The the block of the month, I have to say, my my friend Melissa, who may or may not be watching. Let me see if I can find the Christmas one, because um, she's on holiday in Spain at the moment. What have I done with that? Um, she's designed these. Oh, look, a sewing machine back. Um, She's designed these projects. Oh, that's one of the projects. So I I've got so many, they're all over the place. I wondered where that was, because I was going to put it on my mannequin this morning. That's the, um, the kimono jacket, the reversible kimono jacket. So it's got pockets on both sides. I was trying to show you a Christmas block of the month, but I, I don't know what I've done with it. So that was that. I haven't put it in there. It's not the kind of thing you can... I know what I've done with it. I gave it to Gary to photograph because I was doing an article on binding. Fits in the house. That's where that is. Oh, goodness for that. Um, I was saying, yeah, she's, she's amazing. Um, she writes all of the instructions and everything and then sends them up to us for photography and you never have to correct anything. It's all easily explained and she's absolutely marvellous. We're going to sew this opening closed. I'm just looking for some thread the machine um, yes there is a video Deirdre there's always a video for the first project of the month so there is a curtain video there's no pattern obviously but there is a curtain video um, Sue's made elephants bears Maddie and Robin dolls house bags <laughs> you've probably got as many samples as I have um, Stefan has made a crafting bag enjoying the block of the month lovely um, making the second court you showed us today and the kimono oh that's going to keep you busy cabs using the beige gingham checks for that lovely. It's my first time quilting too. Oh, hi Jane, love making the block of the month. You learn so many different techniques. I think that was the idea. Um, and in, in fact, from the first um, quilt, and I know a lot of you made that, was the half square triangle quilt. Every, every block was different, but every block was made with half square triangles, apart from one which is a quarter square triangle. Um, and then it was the applique one, wasn't it? And then the seminal, and then the Christmas one. So all very different techniques. Um, that's a good idea. Lisa says if you put a Velcro strap on the back, you're going to attach it to the sewing machine. Love that idea. This has to be one thing that I don't lose. Um, right. So I'm just going to set it open and closed. So you can either use a ladder stitch or an over edge stitch. If you've got a patterned fabric, it's, it really doesn't matter. So let's. Put the knot inside there and I think I'll just do a little over edge stitch. So I'm squishing the ends of that together. I've just pulled the knot out so let me put that back in again. Pull that through. Janet did the half square triangle one. They, they were really popular. I think there's a lot of people that, and I'm just going to go, go over the edge, that haven't um, quilted before that have found those projects really easy to follow there's nothing daunting they, they can look a little bit daunting but they're not and because you've got all of the explanation and to be honest because you've got help at hand as well if you, if you do struggle with anything go to the ask a member page and pop it in there and I'm sure somebody's going to come up and, and be able to help you uh, a wonky house kimono mouse thread catcher um, and etc Lots to do in so little time. Janet did the half square triangle one as well. We'll have a look in a minute, see if we've got some pictures. So while I'm just doing that, let's have a look on the website at some of your pictures, because you can do that as well. Um, so I put French SEMA, that's why I couldn't find anything. So let's go sewing projects and down to, where's the block of the month? down here. Oh, look at all these. So this is where you can put your pictures. And I love looking at these because there's so many different um, 
fabric choices that you use which give it completely different looks. Um, let's have a look at the seminar. See what you've been doing with this one. Oh, look at these. So yeah, some are exactly the same, some are very, very different. So that's Joyce, Adele, Sonia, Jeanette on the beautiful. So these are all your, oh, I love that. Sylvia, oh, look. And that's Sylvia as well. That's Heather, that's amazing. Have we, have we done, Joe? We're back to Joe. Oh no, and Gina. I love those. I, I, it's so it's so nice to see what you've been making as well. See what else you've been doing. Um, I know the skirt's been really popular. It's one of my, the most recent ones. Um, there we go, view project. Oh, there's some new ones since we saw these last time. Come on, open up. So that's Susan's. That's nice fabric, isn't it? Oh, she's made a top to go with it. There's Elaine. Hi, Elaine, if you're watching. And Sabina and Cabini. Cynthia, these are lovely. Brenda, I like, I like your place, Brenda. So those are all of those. Love, I love looking at what you've, what you've been making like that. Um, Oh, Ask a Member is great. Thank you to all who helped me design my sewing room. I didn't, I, I must have missed that one, Helene. Um, Dolls House, Walter and Wendy. Instructions are easy to follow. Thank you. I'll have to have a look, actually. I'll get the girls to check if they can. I don't know if they've got statistics like that. What the most um, popular projects have been. I know Maddie has been incredibly popular, the, the rag doll behind me. She's going to have a... In fact, her and Robin are both going to have onesies later on in the year with um, teddy bear and rabbit ears on the hood. That, that's later on, maybe towards Christmas time for that one. Yeah, Gina, I did remember how to find the names. Thank you. I, I actually had a practice before we came to air just to make sure I could do it. After the fiasco of last time trying to find them, when you're all shouting at me, yeah, press that button. For goodness sake, press that button. Um... Thank you. Oh, did I answer Diane? Thank you, Diane. She says the instructions are easy to follow. Pamela wants to make the skirt. Really simple. It is. I mean, all, all of, you get a video for that. All of the instructions are there. It is cut on the bias, though, so it does take quite a lot of fabric. Just to warn you, you might need a couple of metres of fabric for that one. Well, I may as well use my new pincushion to stick that in. So there you go. That's what you got. So clips can go... On the front here is the idea. I've got um, I've got a few I've got quite a few pin cushions. I've always got I've got that one knocking around and other bits and bobs that I've made. Um, but I do tend to kind of have, have areas on a pin cushion. I don't know about you, where I can um, that'll fit nicely in there. Actually, shan't lose that. Um, so I can separate pins. So I can separate my pins from my needles. So on my, do you remember the, um, the mannequin shaped one? That's the one that I used down at the house, it was quite big. Um, so I have needles on the top, I have a doll needle through the centre, I've got flower head on one side and glass head on another, and then my sew, spare sewing machine needles are poked around the bottom. So I told you I like to be organised. Um, so having a couple of those may be an idea. You could even add a, a little loop on there if you wanted to hang it up on something as well. That might, that might be quite nice. So I've got I've got somewhere to to keep me me. I, I picked one up earlier on. It's broken. I must must get some more of those. Bob's just woke up. I think it might be time to go out. Um, so I've got a pincushion with a grid for different machines. That's a good idea. Different pincushions for different types as well. Yeah, I, I just like it, it's not. It, I like to be organised so that I know when I go there I'm going to pick up the right pin or needle, but it's also so I know how many I've got. So if, if I've got a gap and I don't have any use universal sewing machine needles left, I know it's time to buy some more, rather than waiting until I've broken one and, and then realising I haven't got any left. Uh, Mary's got three pin cushions. Uh, the more the merrier, I think, with pin cushions. Um, okay, will Visco scraps work with G700? Yeah. 
Yes, absolutely. No, no problem. Your, your G700 will make it into a, ver a very sturdy fabric. All right, Bob, getting itchy feet. Um, skirt's pretty light. Well, with that skirt, you can make it as long as you like. Um, to put elastic on this is, that's a good idea. Okay, no. well, um, again, if you've got any questions about Half Yard Club, we're about out of time here, but remember, it's info at halfyardsewingclub.com if you do have any questions or you want to answer anything. Remember, if you go to the website, you get your free month. So put the code WELCOME in capital letters when you go to check out and you won't be charged for a month. Um, you'll get a 10% discount off my website, off the Debbie Shaw Sewing website. So we don't sell anything on Half Yard Club, but if you do want to buy any of the fabrics that I use, you can go to my website. You're also going to receive a 30% discount on any of my books. I'm afraid that is UK only because of the postage, again, for, for sending those abroad. Um, you'll be given a code for that. You will be able to take a 20% discount of any other book from the Search Press website. There's a link for that and we do monthly offers as well. Um, have a look, um, when you register, there, there will be um, a box to tick to receive newsletters. That's not marketing, we're not trying to sell you anything. Your newsletter will come out at the beginning of the month to tell you what's happening. So to tell you what project is coming up, what project is going to come back, like that reversible hat I showed you early on, and what project is going to be taken down, at which point you have a chance to download um, a link to the video. And of course you can save your instructions for it as well, so you're not missing out on any of those projects. Um, Okay, um, Pamela, from my website, we do ship to the USA. It can be quite expensive. I think it starts at about £16.50, but yes, we do. Um, okay, I sh well, I hope, I hope you like that. Don't know what we're making next month, but um, next month will be early. It'll be June the 18th for the sew along, so I better come up with something quite soon. Um, because on the 25th, I'm, um, it's my best friend's son's wedding, so I, I won't be there then. Um, I shall be back with you on my Facebook page, on the Debbie Shaw Sewing Facebook page and on YouTube at four o'clock on Wednesday afternoon. We're going to be fitting a letterbox zip. Uh, so we may as well make a bag with a letterbox zip while we're there. That'll be quite a quick project. Um, Chris is going to make it with the grandchildren. So that'll be nice. Thank you for the sew along. Debbie and Liz had a great morning. Looking forward to tomorrow for my... Oh, happy birthday for tomorrow. Um, to, oh yes, Laura, thank you. It's still on. <laughs> what would I do without you? I'd be up in flames. Um, personally, I'm going to be back again on my Facebook page and YouTube at around about two o'clock this afternoon to show you some new fabrics that we've got on the website. I'm not sewing anything, but we've got tons, so I was just going to have a, a talk through those. Um, otherwise, I shall see you again Wednesday at four UK time and next Saturday back over on my Facebook page and YouTube at 11 o'clock in the morning where we're going to we're going to make something else, I don't know. So thank you for joining me today. If you are thinking about joining the Half Yard Club, go and have a look around it and um, join it with your free month. Have a, have a look what you think and, and stay. Or if it's not for you, then you don't have to, but it'd be lovely if you did. Um, I shall see you again soon. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye-bye. Well, when I say bye-bye, I've just got to do this before I go. <laughs> Normally a little bit more organised than that. Um, I shall see you next week. Bye-bye.